What's up everyone, the Godfather Dictator back with Mission 5, the Royal Conservatory. Sounds more like a coven of witches, but whatever. So at first we don't have to find out what Officer Barnes, Barnes, I don't know how to pronounce that fucking name, what he knows, okay? You, you see the like optional objective over my head, we don't go there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around and I'm going to show you a nice little route. Make your way without the need to deactivate the wall of light. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get up right here and I'm going to fall down on whatever what this is. going to open the hatch, then I'm going to fall straight down. You're fast enough. Don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna take the courtyard gate key. So this, I'm gonna wait for the conversation to end between those two red soldiers that are like right in front, but that you don't see right now. Once they're done, okay, just to make sure, I like to hide under here because this red soldier sometimes turn his face towards his direction, and you don't want him to spot you. After wait a bit. Go around, make sure she doesn't spot you. And we're gonna use the key we just stole from that guard. Wait that the witch is not looking in this direction, because there's two witches looking for an ambush. You want you don't want to get spot. Go around like this. And then you're good to go. Now I'm gonna take also an easy route. Well, I think it's the easiest route. Make your way inside the conservatory. There's there's not gonna be any guard inside, it's gonna be only witch witches. And these bitches, they have uh, like a pair hyper awareness, you know, like they they can spot you really easy or don't go too fast because there's a nest keeper. And anyway you cannot go fast because if not you're gonna get sting and you know how I cannot stand taking damage, guys, in any game. Well, I still have the same bar from the damage that you take automatically in the game at the first mission, so that should tell you something. And, of course, I could have, like, ate some food along the way, but I, I really don't care. I don't want to grab anything. It's like uh, a 0% run, if possible. And even though, for example, I had no choice but to grab, the uh, like, money from the first target, I knock in the first mission and all of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for that female soldier here to come. She's going to like stand right in front of us. We won't be able to see her, but she's looking in the right direction. Okay, so we're going to wait. And after, when she starts moving, we're going to fall down. Of course, pay attention to the search light to not step in front of it. Here, I can hear her go away. I drop down and I will make my way towards the conservatory and we're going to use here that little drainage hole to infiltrate the next area that we have to well head into basically there we're going to get up the stairs and one time it's funny because i got all the way there and then like an idiot i opened the door here on my left and this door like the entrance of the conservatory is guarded by a ghost dog. I don't know if you call him like that, but you just see their skull. Basically, you will see one on the right, like now, right here, okay? So, but as soon as you get too close, you trigger them and they spot you really fast if you're not careful. And one time I just like opened the door and I knew it was the wrong door and I realized it too late and I got spot and I had to restart. Because my first strategic save point is when I get inside the conservatory. Like right now, what you see from the beginning is all in a single segment, you know. Try to make this as hard as possible because if, if I would save like every two minutes from moving, that would be kind of lame and not really pretty to watch. Because basically, anyone could do that, replicate that, and every time you make a mistake, oh, I'm going to look back to see. Okay, so no. So once we get inside here, anyway, there's a save point automatically, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to use that here. 
strategic save and there you go now if something happened inside because a lot of things can go wrong well I can load back here but it's gonna be a, like a good bit before I save again this this mission is only in three segments so there's only a uh, yeah, there's only two parts I save. Like the first segment, like this part I just saved in it, and after I'll tell you where. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around. The reason why is because there's a like a double bed here on the left you don't see, but there's a witch on top of it, and for some reason, if you go straight toward the doorway, uh, she always spot you at first. So I just basically do this just to say that I uh, like the conversation progressed far enough so she, that she will not spot me at that specific moment you know and here easiest strategy to do is you have multiple co corpses in this room what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab them and then you're gonna use one for the first nest right here on the right and they always focus by the way on laying eggs inside okay so you don't have to worry about taking damage start through the second body I just make a run for it then we're gonna slide then I'm gonna look in the keyhole, I'm gonna peek like a peeping thumb. No, but I'm just gonna make sure that this witch is gonna be leaning against the rail right here and that we have enough time to go call the elevator. As always, the elevator alarm will attract more you want more like trigger the witches not in search mode but half radar you see like half lightning bolt it always does that you don't have to worry about it the thing you have to worry about though is not get spot after <laughs> when she walks in this direction which I do very badly right here thing is it turned out to my advantage in a way that because of this she's not gonna come in this direction she's gonna go back to her previous spot and that gives me enough time to go back inside the elevator use this to jump up and hopefully I won't miss this time there you go fail on my part because you cannot reach the hatch of the elevator without like any other boxes or something to make you go slightly higher because I've tried many times to jump and because I don't have blink, clearly I don't have any superpower, well, uh, I cannot reach it. Well, it was the only occasion where I could reach it and where it was really appropriate to have that route. So here, we're going to take the note and the lens. You don't really have to take the note, to be honest, but yeah, we're going to take the lenses. And here, I'm really proud of this shortcut that I found because, honestly, before I was going all the way around, going down the elevator and all, but what you can do is you can go on that oil hull. Is that how you pronounce it? Anyway, you can go on this, uh, on this wing and you won't take falling damage. After, change the lens, make sure there is no fucking witch patrolling the area. And as soon as you activate that switch, there's no more witch inside the conservatory so you don't have to worry about making noise or anything uh, what you can do is you can go back in Brianna's office and you're gonna grab the two note unfinished letter to Delilah and done straighten straighten it up okay after this we're gonna head down and proceed to the basement where we're gonna get a nodiograph uh, like a voice recording and after this we have to make our way back to the skiff and this is after uh, like hearing the recording that I'm gonna use my next strategic save because the next part can be a pain in the ass and uh, I will explain why because the outcome of the situation is always different depend on what type of distraction you use even if it's the same type of distraction, sometimes it won't have the same effect. I know it's quite weird, but uh, you can test it out for yourself. So what I'm gonna do here is use a whale oil tank, and we're gonna show it here to cause an explosion so that the tree guard in this area will be alerted and will move towards the location of the explosion. After, we're gonna make our way up top, 
And now we don't have to worry about those three guys anymore. Depend on your timing, you might come here and this guard might not be leaning against the wall. So if that's the case, you know what to do. You continue. You're not doing like I'm just doing right now. But if that's the case and you get here, you have to be patient with me. That's why I make sure my camera like that, I could barely see like her, her helmet so that I know when she would turn and change position. Okay. Now we're going to wait here for the searchlight to come by and then go back. That's the same thing, guys. If you have a different timing than me and the searchlight is on the opposite side, well, go for it. Don't wait here, you know. After, make sure you use the obstacle to your advantage to not get spot by the searchlight as it come back because it do a rotating arc, so you got to be careful. Air, same thing, depend on your timing. You may get here and there may be no one here and you may have enough time to cross the street. But me, every time I would get here on this particular save file, uh, he would always be there. So I had to be patient and wait for him to leave because we're gonna go uh, on top of these boxes there. And also, uh, the next jump after can be pretty tricky because you can get spot really easy so try not to mess it up like I will do the first time it's not that big of a deal because I still didn't get spot but uh, like there's a lot of time where I did it better than that but the overall was alright you see here I missed the jump because you have to be on the highest point but I didn't get spot you only get spot when their lightning bolt goes full red and that wasn't the case here so no worries. Now we're gonna make our way inside the apartment of that civilian. Don't have to worry about him unless you stay in too long. He's gonna call in the guard, so be careful for that. And we make our way back. Same previous path that we took. And now here, gonna try to figure out where that soldier is, that female soldier, and she's right here. Because of that, I know I can go safely on those boxes here and go on top here to be able to reach the balcony. The balcony. After reaching the balcony, you're pretty much you're pretty much done. The only thing you have to do is be careful of that one last soldier that you can see now was heading to the right here and I don't have to worry about him anymore but I was just looking to make sure and after you can use this little route here and then you fall down and you're at the location at the beginning that mission is done I hope you guys enjoyed the video as usual if you enjoyed make sure you drop a like if you have any question leave it in the comment below I will see you on the next mission peace out